Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Otaku Phoenix here, and I know it's a few days late, but to celebrate Fairy Tales' tenth anniversary and Bleach Thousand Year Blood, we are doing a special fight between the Black Dragon Destruction Arknologia and the King of the Quincy's You Watch, You Watch, You Have, whatever the hell you want to call him. Now, keep in mind, this fight will be between Ravines of Time Arknologia and so king you watch from the final chapters so let's get into it Okay, straight away into the fight. The first thing I'm going to do is prove you watches the Almighty will not work on Acnologia. You watch describe the Almighty himself as the ability to look outside of time and space and choose the future he wants and choose what is contained inside that future. Keep in mind, he is manipulating the future, manipulating time. Yeah, well, remember Acnologia eats the freaking time rift, a hole in time and space that was caused seven years ago by the Eclipse Gates. Now, Anna confirmed is the literal concept of time itself. That you remember that Acnologia managed to somehow eat time itself and was sent to a realm outside of time and space. Remember, and that he can summon anyone he wants there and that they cannot leave that realm unless Acnologia is defeated or gives them permission to leave and only he can put allow people in there as well so yeah how is your watch going to manipulate the future in a place outside of time itself this entire realm does not exist in time therefore your watch is not going to be able to manipulate time your watch said so he merely sees from outside of time acnologia actually exists outside of time so the almighty is not going to work against him so that would make Acnologia versus you watch a battle of destructive AP power, basically a regular hand to hand fight. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. You watch is freaking built different. This man legit told Ichigo his dad ain't his real dad, he is. And that why is he angry? Is it because he killed his mom? Like, my fucking god, bro. <laughs> but facts are facts. And like I established in my Bleach Universal debunk video, you watch is not freaking universal. He's not close to universal. And whether you wanna accept that or not is between you. But anyway, you watch said that Ichigo had regained his power from when he fought Aizen. Blah, 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 blah. That makes Ichigo, as you can see from the scans and the proofs showing on the video, this would mean Ichigo's base, Shikai Ichigo in Thousand Year Blood War skills to Dangai Ichigo that fought Aizen. So, let's say that with the horn of salvation ichigo gets a 10 times multiplier because that seems to be the basis in bleed ichigo as we all know then goes on to challenge your watch to a fight using i'm pretty sure it gets with attention or was it just a regular energy attack but anyway he uses an attack and you watch is able to catch it with his bare hand saying that does he really think this amount of power is able to give him trouble but uh, he sang a new tune when Ichigo used the Getsuga Seru and gave him a large amount of damage anyway you watch also show that in futures even when he has died his almighty still works and that he can still rewrite the future to make him alive and that you watch show that in his base form only he was able to handle the the power of Yama's Bankai, which I've confirmed to be maxed around solar system level. However, you watch did say that Ichigo's true Bankai 
is indeed a threat to him and that he would have to get rid of it. That's why he did that whole thing with changing the future, as we all know. The watch also has a bunch of other techniques as well in his arsenal, like his blood vein and his Saint Legan. So I sank the leg in his blunt vein, as you can see, his Rishi energy shield and his dimensional portal. He can travel through dimensional portals. He also has worldly assimilation where he can fuse different worlds together. But please keep in mind, these are just portals to other dimensions, not realms out of time and space in its entirety. So yeah, sadly, you watch doesn't really have a lot of combat feats to show because he mainly fought using the Almighty and just doing his Rishi around. So we don't really have a lot of combat feats for him. But on the little we've seen, we can give a basis. Anyway, moving on to Acnologia, who is far easier to scale. Acnologia was not only able to react to Laxus's lightning, as you can see, he didn't take a step here. Not only was Acnologia able to do that, he was also able to not only react to Sting's holy rays, which are light speed, but casually dodge them without using much effort. That is how fast Acnologia is. He was also able to block Sting and Cobra's dragon roars, end of series roars, with nothing but his bare hands. He was also able to one shot God Serena before even August could react to it. So yeah, I give Acnologia in terms of reaction speed, but I can't really say much for traveling speed as both of them don't have much traveling speed fit. Well, at least human form Acnologia. Dragon form is a completely different story that we'll get to later. I also can't give Acnologia durability because, let's be honest, most of his durability comes from his immunity to magic, so it's hard to say. You watch also has his blonde fin that was able to withstand Ichigo's get to Gatensho. But Acnologia was able to cause a large shockwave of destruct a large destructive blast just by simply flexing his power in annoyance. We created a large shockwave similar in size to Ichigo's get to Garten shows. And this was just from flexing his power. He also did it again out of just sheer mockery to mock the dragon sayer and created a blast on an even larger scale. He was also able to create a large shockwave with just his one finger. But let's say Acnologia actually is going all out here. That would mean human Acnologia can't break through the blonde vein. That may be true, but for human Acnologia and human Acnologia alone. A lot of people don't realize it, but Spirit Acnologia actually sends physical Acnologia to the real world to go destroy it, meaning he can call him back as well. And Dragon Acnologia was able to destroy Tenro Island in one blast. And as I proved in my How Strong is Acnologia video, Acnologia's blast being able to destroy the entire landmass of Tenojima, which is confirmed to be the size of Magnolia and its mountains, which have been calculated to be small country level from one war. You watch as the Sanctorogen, which spread for hundreds of kilometers, will meet Acnologia's eternal flare, which was able to reach all the way from the middle of the ocean back to Magnolia. And each one of these blasts are somewhat equal in size to the one at Tenno Island. And you watch as Rishi matter manipulation won't even matter because Acnologia is pulling them into the time rift from the start. Acnologia has shown that it is is he who controls the terrain and matter in the time rift or the ravines of time so you watch can't control it and before you all start bringing Acnologia doesn't have spirit true pressure so how can he enjoy your watch yeah Acnologia's attacks have been confirmed to be able to damage souls so so in conclusion without the almighty i just cannot see you watch reaching Acnologia's level Acnologia has shown far more destructive fits than you watch so i have to give the win to Acnologia. anyway guys like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time Peace.